Hi everyone, this is the weather hazard briefing from the National Weather Service office here in Pocatello, Idaho for Saturday, August 12th. Got some breezy, warm, and overall dry days ahead uh, coming up in the uh, forecast period here. But a little bit breezy at times for today and even into tomorrow. Uh, generally looking at wind gusts around 20 to 25 miles per hour with a few pockets of gusts up to about 30 miles per hour, mainly through parts of the Snake Plain and Magic Valley. Pretty similar um, for the next couple of days here. Overall, warmer and drier, especially today. Temperatures this afternoon getting pretty close to average for this time of the year. And uh, looks like we stay dry through basically the next week. Uh, any more monsoon moisture is going to stay mainly to our south until we get to about uh, Friday into next Saturday. So again, we've got about a week until we get any real uh, appreciable moisture kind of headed our way. You can see, looking at satellite this morning, things are very quiet across most of Idaho. We've got a few clouds down to our south and farther up to our north. Those clouds up north will slowly try to make their way towards us as we have a weak cold front that's going to be passing through the area later today. Uh, expecting that to come through dry, though. Uh, but again, that's going to help bring a little bit breezier winds for us today and even into tomorrow, especially through the Snake Plain and into parts of the Magic Valley. Um, Otherwise, our weather risk outlook grid looking pretty quiet as far as uh, any impactful weather goes. Again, basically in the greens uh, through the next week. High temperatures today, very similar to yesterday. Most of us at the lower elevations here getting very close to 90 degrees. Uh, wouldn't be totally shocked if some of us even managed to reach it. Um, otherwise, if you go up into parts of the mountains, a little bit cooler, of course. More so into the uh, upper 70s to low and mid 80s. Wind gusts this afternoon, as I mentioned earlier, most of us seeing winds around 20, 25 miles per hour with a few pockets, again, through uh, parts of the Magic Valley and into the Wood River area, gusting to about 30 miles per hour. Our minimum relative humidity, it's going to be dry out there today. In fact, a lot of us down in the teens uh, through parts of the Snake Plain, Magic Valley, into parts of the Arco Desert there too. Um, otherwise, kind of looking more so 20s to some low 30s for minimum relative humidity. We've got that weak cold front that's going to be passing through the area tonight uh, that is expected to come through dry, but will drop us just a couple of degrees for our temperatures as we get into Sunday. Uh, we'll start off with most of us in the uh, 40s and 50s early Sunday morning and warm back up into the low and mid 80s for most of us. Again, so not a... Uh, a big cold front or an impactful cold front really uh, not going to bring a bunch of showers or storms or drop our temperatures you know 10 degrees or anything like that but it'll be slightly cooler at least as we get into uh, Sunday afternoon as far as wind gusts on Sunday again very similar to today a lot of us in that 20 to 25 mile per hour range with a few spots could be gusting up to about 30 miles per hour in the afternoon there Minimum relative humidities on Sunday, a uh, slight recovery in part because that cold front coming through will at least bring a, a slight increase in some clouds, so bringing a tiny bit more moisture into the area, but overall, again, still pretty dry with most of us in the teens and low to mid-20s. Overall, it's going to stay breezy for today and most of tomorrow, warmer and drier. That trend continues, even with that slight cool down uh, for Sunday afternoon, we're going to start warming things right back up. and. We've got some more 90s in the forecast as we get into next week. But uh, overall, not looking like too bad of a weekend here. At least uh, should stay dry for any of your outdoor plans, so that's good news. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the forecast or just need to ask a question, you can uh, give us a phone call, send us an email, or of course social media, always a good way to get a hold of us. Otherwise, have a great day.